Hi hey guys, welcome back to this channel. It's your Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. And I post videos each and every day, at least I try to, although I know I've been missing in action for a few months now. But I'm back, so feel free to suggest anything you want to see on this channel or recommend anything and if you have recommended something in the past i will make sure to go through the comments get your suggestions and actually react to them and respond to some um comments so today i'm going to be reacting to before even that make sure to like this video subscribe and of course enjoy the content so today i'm going to be reacting to the holy prophet muhammad's letter to the monks of saint catherine in Mount Sinai, so that wasting time, let's get into the video. The Patriarch then sent us to the depths of the Sinai Desert to a Greek Orthodox monastery where early Christians also sought protection. It's called St. Catherine's and it's located at the foot of Mount Sinai, where, according to tradition, Moses received the Ten Commandments. It's the oldest functioning monastery anywhere. There are 25 monks here today, servicing the smallest diocese in the world. The monks are all Greek, with one exception. Altogether, we have 3,300 manuscripts. The chief librarian, overseeing an incomparable collection of ancient manuscripts, is Father Justin. Most of these date from the 10th to the 14th century. A converted Baptist from El Paso, Texas. He showed us the monastery's collection of Byzantine icons, the largest and oldest collection in the world. Then he took us to what the Patriarch really wanted us to see, a little-known letter written by the Prophet Muhammad almost 1400 years ago, signed and sealed with his handprint, offering protection and religious freedom to the Christians of the monastery. These are precedents for Muhammad himself for toleration and peace among people of differing faiths. The Patriarch then brought us back to the 21st century and Turkey to his own backyard. He took us for a ride on an island off of Istanbul in a carriage with a police escort. The Patriarch wanted to show us that Muhammad's message of tolerance has not been received by the Turkish authorities. His prime example, the Halki School of Theology, the only Greek Orthodox seminary in Turkey, empty and abandoned, no priests, no prayers.
if I'm not mistaken, what the the slideshow of the words at the end, the translation in English, that was what was contained in the letter, yeah? Which is fair, you know, you have to learn to exist with other religions around. Um, I didn't know that Turkey actually banned all Islamic laws, you know, because as far as I'm concerned, it's still a Muslim country, you know, despite being secular as it is. Um, concerning what was written, it's only right that someone with a leadership role is preaching some sort of, like I said, you have to learn to live with other people around, you know, but respect each other. We are asking our people to respect this. These people should also respect this that we practice. You know, you don't have to look down on someone because they come from a different religion. You don't have to oppress them. You just don't have to be mean. You have to be, um, you have to treat someone as you want them to treat you. You just can't expect, you know, some people retaliate. If you are um, mean to them, why are they not to be mean to you, you know? But at the end of the day, just practice good. Whether they treat you good as well. It doesn't matter as long as you on your side are doing something right. That's all that's going to matter in the end. And just out of curiosity, who actually wrote this letter for him? Of course, it's um, sealed with his handprints. But who wrote the letter for him, you know? And yeah, so if there's anything else that you guys may have noticed in this video, Feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I think it's very, very big of Muhammad to say, let us protect these people, whatever the case. Let us respect people, these people, whatever the case. And you should abide by that, you know, because there's always something good that comes out from being um, good to someone. Even if you don't see it now, later on in life, maybe the person you're protecting will come to your head or someone from that religion will come to your head you never know how the world or life plays out at the end of the day so if there's anything you noticed in this video that i didn't catch on feel free to start the discussion down below i'm always looking forward to your comments feel free to suggest anything you want to see on this channel down below anything that i can react to nothing too long because people complain about long things yeah so make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video